Today we're going to have a look at our propagation unit where we do cuttings and seeds. This is the heart of any nursery, it's very important. Basically, it's a greenhouse structure with some beds where you can put your trays. We've got a plastic covering on. Uh, the function of the plastic covering is one, to increase hum humidity, two, to give us a bit of more heat, and three, to protect the plants from excessive rain or precipitation. Secondly, we try to maintain relative high light levels, but we don't want to have the light levels too high that would cause the plants to burn or to wilt. So we do have a double set of shade cloth. It's a balancing act. We don't go, want it too dark. We want still good light in here, but also not too light that the plants may burn. The second part of the system then consists of uh, an intermittent uh, irrigation system where we would cool, the, cool and wet the plants, let them dry down, cool and wet them. And over time, with such a system, they should then start to develop. Greenhouse is a 30 meter by 10 meter, 300 square meter. It's a naturally ventil ventilated. In summer, we do close the sides, but now we're starting to go into early summer. And so we try to cool this house down with a little bit of air movement through this house. And that's why it's open like this at this stage. Another thing about this tunnel, the economics, you can see we've got about, uh, we've got five beds here. Each of these beds take, takes about 20,000 cuttings and we flip this house most probably once every 8 to 12 weeks. So uh, it's, it's a quite a productive uh, system that we are running here. This house is also, the, the output that we get here is exactly enough for the size of nursery that we run. So as you can see, our beds are angled in at a certain angle. That is only to catch any run of water. And if you come down here, you'll see we'll have a, we have a drain where we drain out excessive water. It is, it's not necessary to have lifted beds like this. You can do it on a gravel floor. This just works better for us. It's, it's for you, it's, you must weigh up economics. But this is quite easy for us. And we like the concrete base because that um, uh, keeps down any possible weeds that might come out and and put some seed down in our trays. So this is the, the misting system that we use. Um, it's not a fogging system, it's a misting system and it runs at about three bars. It, it consists mainly of a nozzle, a non-drip valve and a weight just to keep it suspended. And, and straight. We, we prefer overhead system as it does not interfere with our bedding space and working environment. So this is our control unit. It's uh, intermittent misting. It works in seconds and it's eight station. At, on this greenhouse we only use five stations. On this house we've got water supply from city council that, that runs at about four bars and so that is that's enough pressure for us. We also have then a second system that's a backup system that we store some water in and a pump with a pressure valve that will kick in if the pressure drops below free bar. So if, this, if the city council water doesn't come through we've got the volume stored up and if the pressure drops this will also kick in. So that's just one safe backup system for us. The problem with cuttings in general is that you take a tip from a plant, you cut off its water supply you have something like that. So this plant is in a stress condition and will su struggle to survive. The, the function of a propagation unit this is to create an environment for this plant to survive and to root and uh, for you to get something like this after a couple of weeks that have good roots and the plant that you can use. Depending on the plant that we grow and the season that we are, we set this to on average 22 seconds every hour that it would come on and go off. This is, the function is to one, to cool down the plants and two, to replenish any water loss from the plant. So we need to keep the plants turgent 
and then a healthy state for them to create roots. So th this is more a feel thing that you learn over time, but we've sorted this one out now. So this is the mist that we have, uh, the, the pressure pump that kick in now, and you can see it's quite a fine, fine mist that we use. So after a while you'll have good rooted plants and the problem now is you cannot just move this into the sun because uh, the light levels are a bit low in here. So we would then move this out into a shaded area where we would acclimatize them for a couple of weeks before we plant them into our pots. So we would typically keep them here for maybe two, three weeks and then repot re them again.